the design of this motorcycle is derived from the Z series or the Z series. Well, the Z900, Z800, Z1000 all have a similar DNA when it comes to design. Now let's talk about the engine part. Well, this beautiful looking engine is liquid cooled four stroke parallel twin. Yes, it is a 649 cc engine and the torque is 65.7 N at 6500 RPM. If you're talking about power, this gives around 68 PS at 8000 RPM, which is very decent for a parallel twin. This motorcycle engine gets four valves per cylinder. So there are two cylinders, basically eight valves, completely fuel injected. The stroke if you're looking for is 60 mm which is decent for this bike because it gives a torque of 65.7 N at 6500 RPM. Well talking about the front part, the bike does get dual disc brakes uh, coming at the rear part. You see the swing arm, it looks so damn unique. Yes, I like the swing arm flow, it's pretty good. So basically they are horizontal back link with adjustable preload swing arm which is 5.1 inches which is really decent for this motorcycle. Now let's talk about the tires. The front tires are 120, 70s to 17 rear, which is 160, 60, 17. Tire at the rear is 160 to 60, 17. If you're talking about the wheel size, the front are 17 inches and the rear are also 17 inches. Both the wheels are alloy and both the tires are tubeless. The length, width, and height is 2055775 1080mm, respectively. The ground clearance of this bike is 130mm, which is decent. And if you're talking about the weight, this bike weighs around 208 kilos. So, Mask of Zorro left his mark on this motorcycle. Yes, some call it the Z, some call it the X. Well, this is how the LED actually flashes and looks very really attractive. These grab bars can be removed and most of the people remove it, but they are as for the Indian norms and for the sari guard. This hunky looking tank can take petrol up to 15 liters, which is decent enough for highway cruising as well. So I'll test the average on the highway and get back to you guys when I take it for Goa ride. Let's start this bike and see how the instrument cluster illuminates and also hear the sound of the exhaust. Yes, this is the same day when I had given a shout out for the IBW video but I had to test ride the Z650 before I take it to the Goa tour and that's why I decided to ride this motorcycle and thanks to Siddhant for shooting this and uh, making my day happen and Siddhant is right now making a face at me behind the camera <laughs> Anyways, let's talk about this motorcycle right now I find this bike the most comfortable in the Kawasaki series because it is a compact engine but it is a very powerful engine too because is the same engine derived from the Ninja or the Versus or the ER6N. Yes, Z650 is actually a successor of the ER6N. We all know that. It's quite a late review, but I could not miss it for life because this is one of my favorite bikes of Kawasaki and I'm taking this to Goa, so I'm super excited. And now, let's get with the test ride. All right, friends, I'm, I've hopped on on the Z650 or the Z650, whatever you call it. This is the bike which has replaced the ER6N. I have already reviewed the ER6N. ER6N which has similar instrument cluster. Uh, I was quite a fan of the ER6N motorcycle because it was more of a street street fighter. Well this bike is more of naked and does have a little bit of power stance. Uh, you are a little bit leaning down when you are riding this motorcycle which is decent for aggressive riding. So let's start this motorcycle. Yep, the speedometer is the TFT screen, which is I think a LCD or the LED. Does have the neutral ABS. Yes, this is an ABS equipped motorcycle. Uh, and this is a simple instrument cluster, which does have trip A, trip B. It also has a fuel indicator, temperature and basic things what we all know. It does have a gear shift system here, which shows neutral for second, third, fourth, fifth. And uh, let's start this motorcycle. Well, this is how the motorcycle sounds. Wow. Decent growl, uh, talking about the mirrors, the mirrors have a little bit of a golden tinge which is nice and gives a little amberish feel when you're looking behind, uh, looking at the rear. Actually it's been 20 minutes since I've left the showroom and I'm, I'm in this typical Mumbai rush hour traffic because it's already 5 o'clock. Uh, how does this bike handle in the city condition? Very nice. The suspension, really smooth. 
you can't feel uh, heavy bumps you know you can sense this bike is heavy and i can easily put my feet down you guys can see that right so shorter people who are looking for a powerful motorcycle up to 650 cc especially cutting through traffic in india and your daily hustle or uh, taking it on the highway and enjoying the cruise so basically this Z650 or the Z650 which we call is a multi purpose motorcycle okay why is this motorcycle a underdog all right the main reason what i found out through a lot of people and um, you know decent understanding i took some feedback so the Z250 looks pretty similar to the Z650 and if you're paying some 6 and a half lakhs or 7 lakhs or whatever this bike is costed at and if you're paying such a premium cost people in india expect a big looking bike you know bigger tires bigger body bigger fairings you know uh, but for me i prefer uh, you know like a rocket in a pocket kind of a thing especially if you are a city kind of a guy like me i live in mumbai since uh, so many years and this is what i go through regularly so i prefer such bikes which are naked easy to flick around but yes it is not very easy to flick around like the ktms because this is a little heavier obviously it's had a, it has a parallel 650 cc engine uh the power we'll actually see on the main stretch when we'll reach uh, on the back road okay so i got a free patch now and uh, yep still lot of traffic but uh, it's been uh, literally half an hour in this traffic but i don't feel any heat from the engine very smooth bike very stable bike you can feel the weight of this bike while maneuvering it so when you are turning the bike leaning it towards the left or right you can actually judge the weight of this bike that yes it is quite a heavy and a decent bike uh cutting through traffic piece of cake so one thing great about this motor bike you can use the power when you want to you can flick in the traffic when you want to you can use it very gently and softly when you want to cruise so a overall package if you are looking for a naked sport kind of a bike which has immense power and not looking for a very bigger package when it comes to fairing and a body work and if you are fine with the power and flickable bike so you guys can see that it has immense power uh cornering with this bike is fun uh compared to compared to the Z250 i think the traction on this bike is much better uh, i'm not comparing the engine actually you cannot compare a 250 with a 650 so i'm talking about cornering the bike so i am on the fourth gear right now and it still has it goes till rpm of i am on the fifth gear now and look at the rpm that means you guys can feel that how much of power and torque ratio this bike has now i'm on the 6th gear and i'm easily flying at 70 and 80 speed so if you are a adrenaline junkie and you get these small patches where you can rip your bike this is a very decent bike to enjoy that power uh well i am not giving a squid alert but if you are frustrated with the traffic and you get a empty road and you feel like you should cruise at 100 120 Okay what I've heard that on this bike 100 to 150 is a piece of cake. Okay so the best thing about a parallel twin is that you can get the benefits of the power which comes mostly after the third and the fourth gear. Okay uh let's start with the clutch. Extremely smooth. Uh remember the clutch levers do come with these adjustment uh dials you can see on the left hand side and even on the braking they do have the adjustment lever so you can adjust it as per uh, your palm size which is uh, pretty decent uh now power oh boy easy 80 90 i'm on the top gear right now i'm on the 6 gear this is a 6 speed transmission and it just zips off and as i told you all that it's very easy to touch 100 and 120 on this whole cycle without any any vibrations so a very decent and a smooth bike 
and the cops are busting people who are here to do mischief and uh, without wearing no helmets and riding motorcycles great speed remember i have even mentioned in the past kawasaki's biggest advantage is the power actually opens after the second third gear which mostly happens in all the bikes but don't expect a immediate pick up on the first gear the second gear really throws you in the air and when you on the top gear it's very smooth so i'm on the sixth gear now very smooth cruise uh, a lot of wind blast uh, this is the thing in naked sport cornering very decent i even at high speed you can turn and uh, it's quite responsive traction is great on this motorcycle really nice braking this brakes you can feel the abs when at a high speed right now i'm at around 90 and there you go this is the braking this that's the abs and that's the best part and cops are busting people here because there's something happening on the motorcycle or something here and i don't know what that is so oh, that guy just ran that guy just ran and i think i can catch him but i think the cops caught him yeah friends so it's uh, 6:20 it's quite dark in mumbai and uh, extreme power all right uh, i must say certain patches i did not uh, put in the video because uh, there were a lot of cops there and i could not uh, scramble this test ride vehicle to its limit uh, the only drawback which i found for myself uh, there are two things which uh, kind of bother me uh, one is that it has a little bit of a aggressive stance which i mentioned earlier uh, due to which i get a little pressure near my wrist area okay but that's you know rider to rider some people prefer the aggressive stance and tight uh, like to bend uh, forward lean forward when i used to ride my uh, clip ons on my gt i used to have the same sensation which i have on this bike right now it's not that much of leaning forward but it does feel uh, a little pressure on your palms uh, second thing i would like to talk about is the tank is very close to the groin area uh friends if you have uh, ridden a pulsar or any kind of sports bikes in past you guys know what i'm talking about that the tanks end is near the groin area when when you're going on slopes and you're at a high speed and suddenly there's a speed breaker and if you use brakes you might shift towards the tank and you might get a little uh uh hit there so one has to be careful uh, especially uh, when you're riding fast and these are the only two things which uh i found a little issue for me uh, as a as a rider not as the bike's fault but as a rider i feel these two things will kind of uh, you know for long rides will let me get off the bike and stretch a little okay so i've reached the kawasaki showroom i had left my bag here Okay, so I'm taking the bike inside. Can I go do? Yeah, it's fine. I I got attracted looking at a 14R. I couldn't control. That's a that's a bike. <laughs> that's a demon. Demon on roads. That's a 14R. Oh damn! Look at it, man. This is so good. This is the best part. Coming to the Kawasaki showroom is like to see these beauties. That's the best thing. I'm so glad that Anzen Kawasaki is providing me this bike to ride to Goa, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you did, press the thumbs up button. And as usual, eat well, sleep well, be good. Signing off. Ride with Raj. and see you at india bike week